Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV, Baba Bagide Imo TV. Today, 19th day in the month of August 2022. I am Mori Rebila Lawal. First are the major headlines for the national news. We need to consult Oracle for anti corruption in Nigeria, reps member. Abductors of Nasarawa Information Commissioner demand 100 million naira. Gunmen kill play two farmer, cut away motorcycle. Angry mob rescue victim sets ablaze victim. Lagos man jailed for 37 years for infringement. And finally, on sport or Nazi in action as home Eagles beat local side in friendly. Now, the news in detail. A member of the House of Representatives, Honorable Yunusa Ahmed, has said that there was need to consult the Oracle to tackle the endemic corruption in the country. Ahmed disclosed these on Thursday in Abuja while fielding questions from journalists at the African Conference on Debt and Development of COVID 2nd, 2022, organized by African Network for Environment and Economic Justice, ANWEJ. The lawmaker insisted that the country had adequate laws to tackle corruption, but lamented that the act of stealing had been so perfected that it was so difficult to trace anything through paper. Ahmed added that the National Assembly had been playing and playing its role through oversight and was passing relevant laws that were in tandem with the reality. Ahmed noted that one of the interventions made by the National Assembly was to enact the law of Nigeria Financial Intelligence Unit, NFIU, Act, which separates it from the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and enactment of the Money Laundering Act. He added, in oversight and two, we try to ascertain to what extent are the laws being obeyed. We discovered everything is there. In Nigeria, when you are trying to find fault through the papers, you will never get anything because the papers are nits. Earlier, the executive director of ANWEJ, Mr. David Ugolo, said the AFCODI, Second, 2022 brought together political, technical, and civic leaders from Africa to deliberate and agree on commitment that safeguard the macroeconomic sustainability of the continent towards achieving a new debt movement. He said the meeting was about national civic movements building in a sustained manner beyond the current debt crisis. Moving on to the next story from the national news this hour is an abduction from national states. Kidnappers of the National State Commissioner for Information, Culture and Tourism, Mohamed Yakubu Lawan, have demanded 100 million naira for the release of the victim from the den, the family members have said. Vanguard gathered that the family of the victim had offered a sum of 3.5 million naira to the kidnappers, but the kidnappers insisted on 100 million naira demanded for the governor's contact, which was not provided as such the switch off their phone. It will be recalled that the police had yet Yesterday morning confirmed the eviction of the commissioner and his residence at Nasarawa Evgon local government area of the state on Monday at about 9 p.m. According to the victim's younger brother, Mr. Tanimu Yakubu, who spoke exclusively to Vanguard Wednesday morning, said he was able to speak with one of the kidnappers through his elder brother's, the victim's phone line. He also confirmed that even the wife of the victim also spoke to her husband and kidnappers were demanding 100 million naira to release their victim. The kidnappers called one of us was about 4.30 p.m. yesterday, Tuesday, and said the only way they would release the commissioner was when we pay the sum of 100 million naira. And to the next story, some gunmen on Wednesday reportedly killed a farmer at Apan community in the Balkanladi, local government area of Plateau State. The hoodlums were said to have also stolen his motorcycle. A pregnant woman selling maize by the roadside near the scene of the incident confirmed the killing to Pont Metro on Thursday. She said, we were selling our wares along the road here, Ipang, when we suddenly heard gunshots. We were scared and ran away. That was after we looked up and saw a man walking on his farm who was hit by the gunshot lying on the ground beside his motorcycle. Then some people carrying guns who we know to be full of men were moving towards him. Some villagers who were alerted by the gunshots later went to the place with some security men but they could not see the gunmen again. They also discovered that the gunmen also left with the motorcycle belonging to the diseased farmer. Moving on, angry residents of Green Villa Road in Yenagua, Biosa State, rescued a victim from a phone theft at gunpoint. 
However, the mob set ablaze the suspect before the police arrived at the scene. By outside police command on Thursday, warned residents against taking the law into their hands. The warning followed the lynching of the suspected phone thief by a mob in Yenoga on Wednesday. Condemning the act, police spokesman in the state, SP Asnin Botswat, advised residents to stop taking the law into their hands. The Bayasa Police Command condemned the mob action of the suspected robber at Green Villa by Bolo area of Bayasa State. The angry mob chased the suspect, beat him up and bumped into death before the arrival of the police in the area concerning the incident. He noted that the response team got to the scene at a later time when the suspect had been bombed to death. He wanted members of the public to refrain from taking the laws into their hands and avoid such from recurrence. And to later states, a man, Moses Joseph, who forced a girl to suck his and started easing the finger in the pirate path, was in Thursday sentenced to 37 years imprisonment by a Lagos State Special Offenses Court sitting at Ikeja, Lagos State. Justice Uluwato in Taiwo, who handed down the verdict, held that the state proved its case against the defendant beyond reasonable doubt. The judge held that, from available evidence, the defendant was guilty of the crime. The Lagos State government arraigned Joseph on two counts of indecent treatment. The prosecution said the defendant committed the offense at his house on 25 Calvary Street, Alausa, in Kedja, on September 17, 2021, around 1 p.m. In his other courts, the defense counsel, Mr. Henry Obidino, pleaded with the court to tamper justice with mercy, though. And to the last story from the national news is from the sports angle. Orgeny Onazi was in action as the home Eagles rallied back from two goals down to beat local side. Mining 3-2 in a friendly match at the practice pitch of the Mashuda Abiola Stadium, Abuja. On as played the first 45 minutes of the training encounter, the midfielder is training with the team to keep fit as they look to secure a move to a foreign club. Mahanam scored two quick goals in the first half before the home Eagles rallied back after the break to win the game 3-2. That concludes the national news today. Before we go, let's quickly have some major headlines. We need to consult Oracle for anti-corruption in Nigeria, reps member. Affectors of National Information Commissioner demand 100 million naira. And we're also brought to you from the sports angle. Super Eagles 8, or Nazi in action as home base Eagles beat local sides in Abuja. For more updates on YouTube, our handle is Babababagede Imor TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. Select option all for you to access our broadcast. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawi Adebayo. Please like and follow the page to enjoy our updates. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For other placement of goods and services, coverage of events and function, please dial the phone number streaming on the screen for other placements only. Thank you for watching. I am Mohiri Rebila Lawal. Jumat Mubarak to all Muslim faithfuls all around the world.